Hi. Um, so as you can see, I'm kind of all um, cozy and warm in my bed. <laughs> Not really warm. My hands are kind of cold. But um, this is a video review for um, Rewriting History by Missy Johnson and Carly Gray. Um, this is the first of anything. I, I haven't heard of Carly Gray before, um, but I, I have heard of Missy Johnson. Most people have. Um, so this was... Okay, no, I was not going to say that because that would make it sound bad, but it's not. Um, before I say anything, I think these two work really, really well together. Um, I honestly could not tell when one was writing versus the other. And I think in co-written books, that's just the biggest thing. Um, so I highly recommend reading the prequel um to rewriting history which can be found in the hot for teacher anthology um you don't have to but i promise you everything will make a lot more sense and it won't seem like you're starting in the middle of, of a book when you start reading um this is really hard because i'm trying not if you haven't read the prequel i'm trying really hard not to give spoilers um so the book starts, the book, not the prequel of the, uh, the book, um, starts out with Eli and Jill, and, um, okay, you're gonna find out anyways when you read the book, so I have to tell you, because there's no way to work around this. Eli is Jill's teacher, okay, but you'll find out more about how the relationship started in the prequel, so read it. Um, what happened is Eli's dad is sick, and these two have been at odds for the longest time. Um, but he's taken over for his dad, and Jill is in his class, in his history class. Um, and so these two have to work really carefully. Sorry, <laughs> I just noticed something about my face. That's okay. Anyways, off track, off topic. Where was I? Um, they had to, Eli and Jill had to work um, really, really, really hard to keep their relationship under wraps. Um, Jill has moved around a lot because her dad is is part of the is in the military and so they move around a lot. And finally they settled in in Denver and you know things are going and um you know things are happening and they really just have to be really careful to hide their relationship and then um Jill's best friend Alice is in New York, you know that she had met from um a previous time when she was in New York from a move before and then she meets Sophia at her school and they become really good friends um and so she's a good support system for them I'm, <laughs> I'm thinking as I'm doing this review I'm thinking not a lot has really happened that's really significant that I can tell you about and it makes it I don't know but um a lot of it happens towards the end, and I can't, you know, I can't tell you the ending because that would be spoiling, and that's bad, and you've got to read it. Um, but now that I think about it, not not a lot really happens um, in the, in, for a good part of the book, but that doesn't mean it's boring. I highly enjoyed this book. I really, really, really like Eli and Jill's um, dynamics together, and their relationship, I think, is absolutely wonderful. Um, you know, you can tell that this isn't, oh, like, you know, a fling. You, you can just tell. But um, a lot happens, you know, there's things going on with her mother and then, you know, things going on with um, her neighbor that's in her classes and is a total bully. Um, and there's things going on in Eli's family. And, you know, again, I can't really say a lot of that because it will spoil it. Um, so my overall thoughts of this book, um, the thing that I just realized that kind of stuck out to me um, that kind of has me a little peeved um, is, like, like I said about Sophia, right? Um, so we get to know her, we get, we get introduced to her, and then for a good about 20% uh, of the book, but near the end, she isn't mentioned at all. And I'm just like, did Sophia drop off the face of the earth? Where'd she go? You know, and then she's brought back in the epilogue. But I'm just like, I felt, you know, that they kind of forgot about her. Um, oh God, 
there's this one part um, <laughs> that I'm thinking about right now that um, I want to tell you, but I can't because again, spoilers. God, spoilers. I hate them and I always want to tell them to you because I want you to know, but I can't because that's bad. Um, I don't know. Um, I like this book and it was really good. You know, the prequel, when I read the Hot for Teacher anthology, definitely hooked me. Um, but I would give this book probably solid four stars. Um, because really, now that I think about it, not a lot had happened at the beginning. But I did, this was one of the books that, you know, I kept reading and reading and, um, I finished it in less than a 24 hour period. I started it last night and, you know, throughout the day I've been reading and I finished it. Um. But yeah, great job for Missy Johnson and Carly Gray, and I really think, like, they work really well together, and I would love to see more from them.